Now let's talk about the treatment of uh, diabetics with a healthy diet. And I show the picture of Nathan Pritikin here because as far as I'm concerned, he's the one that popularized the high carbohydrate diet and the treatment of type two diabetes with a high carbohydrate diet, a high sugar diet. Now, when I talk about carbohydrates, I want you to know I'm talking about rice, corn, potatoes, sweet potatoes, beans, peas, and lentils. I'm not talking about table sugar, except for the experiments I just showed you. You know, the type of high carbohydrate diets that I feed my patients and Nathan Pritikin did his were based around starches, rice, corn, potatoes. That's what we're talking about. Well, this type of treatment began in 1932, or at least as far as I know, that was the earliest uh, discussion, at least in the medical literature in 1932 by Rabinovich. He treated a whole bunch of type two diabetics with a high carbohydrate diet. And he made some statements that were pretty profound. He said, may I, however, observe that we now have over 500 patients on this diet and that 16 failures among them out of 500 patients. And at least in my opinion, they were highly satisfied with the diet. He made a whole bunch of other positive statements, including <clears throat> diets are sufficiently attractive so that when given the option of being sufficiently underweight or taking insulin, the majority of patients selected the former course. I mentioned to you how Walter Kempner got nearly 100% cure of type two diabetics. Nathan Pritikin's work, his published studies show that by feeding a high carbohydrate diet on average in their group of patients, they were able to reduce the average blood sugar from 183 to 150 milligrams per deciliter. The oral medications from 284 to 75 pills and the insulin shots from 280 to 158 by feeding a high carbohydrate diet. James Anderson from the University of Kentucky, he published his research. Insulin usage on average decreased from 26 to 11 units daily. And 11 of the 20 lead patients were able to stop their insulin. Essentially, all of the people on pills were able to stop their insulin, feeding a high carbohydrate diet at the University of Kentucky. Uh, David Jenkins from University of Toronto. Improvements of blood sugars in diabetics with 39% stopping insulin and 71% stopping diabetic pills after three weeks of therapy. Neil Bernard from PCRM. He showed compared to the American Diabetic Association diet, the use of a diet, which happened to be our diet, reduced hemoglobin A1C levels, whereas with the ADA diet, they showed an increase in hemoglobin A1C levels. Other benefits to health, they reduced medications more often than on the ADA diet. They lost twice as much weight had an improvement in uh, bad cholesterol and had an improvement in urine kidney proteins. Our published work on 1,703 patients, nearly 90% of the diabetic patients were able to reduce or stop their diabetic medications. That's a 10 year study, nobody was excluded. All right, so we dealt with the treatment of diabetes. How about the treatment of complications of diabetics? You know, it's, it's one, one thing to cure the diabetes. How about the complications that are so common, such as eye disease and uh, peripheral neuropathies and kidney failure? How, how about treating those patients? Well, let me show you some of the benefits of doing the right thing. Let's start with Joslyn, who set up the famous Joslyn Clinic in Boston. Most diabetics know about the Joslyn Clinic. Well, Joslyn, who was a very, very famous doctor, he said <clears throat> back in 1927, he said, I believe the chief cause of premature atherosclerosis, in other words, heart disease, in diabetes safe for advancing age is an excess of fat, an excess of fat in the body, obesity, an excess of fat in the diet, and an excess of fat in the blood. With an excess of fat, diabetes begins, and from an excess of fat, diabetics die. 
formerly of coma and recently of atherosclerosis. This is a work from Walter Kempner on treating diabetic retinopathy. These results were observed in 20 of the 44 patients who had diabetic retinopathy. You see the back of the eye, which you would, could look at with a very simple instrument. You just put it up to the eye and any doctor could do it or anybody could do it. And you look through an ophthalmoscope and you look at the back of the eye, you see on the left-hand side, the retina shows what we call flame hemorrhages. Those are the darkened spots. They look like flames, don't they? And it also shows white exudates. You see those in the eye. After a few months on a high carbohydrate diet, this diabetic retinopathy was cured. You see that on the frame on the right. Van Eck at the same time published the same results on how a high carbohydrate diet cures diabetic retinopathy. Here's his work, same type of thing. So these days they treat diabetic retinopathy with lasers, never, almost never with a healthy diet. Wouldn't you prefer changing what you eat to going blind and suffering from the kinds of treatments that are offered to patients, the expense, the inconvenience? We've known for a hundred years that people with kidney disease should eat a high carbohydrate, low protein, low fat diet. A low protein diet reduces the progression of their kidney disease and death by an average of 33 to 50%. This is classic treatment. Every, every renal doctor, every renal dietitian should know this. The research is absolutely consistent that if you take, you reduce the protein in the diet of a diabetic and you increase the carbohydrate, their kidney disease gets better, profoundly better. In fact, you can stop or slow the progression of their kidney disease and keep them away from a dialysis machine and other complications and death by feeding them the right kind of diet. How about peripheral neuropathy where people suffer from horrible pain, burning sensations and they're primarily in their legs and feet. Well, a study done out of Weimar Institute, which is just north of Sacramento, <clears throat> Where they use a diet almost exactly like the diet that I use. They're an Adventist, Adventist institution. And so they uh, do teach a little bit of religion. But they found in a study published on, on diabetic, diabetic neuropathy, they found that 17 of the 21 patients were cured in four to 16 days. And they were followed up for as long as four years and they stayed cured. A recent uh, st <clears throat> study uh, out, of, out of Bernard's group showed that uh, with the intervention with a good diet, you also can treat diabetic neuropathy. That was published in 2015. That's from Neil Bernard from the Physician Committee for Responsible Medicine. So this is the way that I take care of diabetes. I feed them a high carbohydrate diet. I use medications only when indicated. And exclusively, I treat them with with insulin as opposed to pills, which cause more harm than good. Now we run a 12-day internet-based intervention, a telemedicine program, where we take care of hundreds of diabetics. And we're able to get the results that I just showed you, a 90% reduction or discontinuation of the diabetic medications and tremendous improvement as far as their complications and as far as our overall health goes. In 12 days, we're able to accomplish this. And you get to stay in your own home. You get support from us. The doctor comes to your house. Our support specialists come to your house. And you can find out about this on my website, drmcdougall.com. <music>